from Fabulous to Untouchable. Here comes a self-proclaimed Emil's beautiful woman in all of WWE. Saxton, how many times do I have to tell you many other people make the same proclamation? This is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. That is my unbiased opinion. Yeah, sure it is. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Staten Island, New York, Carmella. Carmella's proven herself as one of the most talented in-ring competitors. But according to Carmella and Corey, she's also the best looking. According to many people, Cole, you clearly just don't speak to the right people. Well, Byron told me she wasn't best looking. Why are you being a snitch, Michael? Would you take the advice on whiskey from someone who's never had a drink? I don't think so. Gone are the days of moonwalking, the trash talking remains, and let's be honest, I think we were all a little bit over the dance break thing. Hey, I miss those dance breaks. You're the one. Gentlemen, I think she's about to start a fight. riding high plans on getting things settled in the ring I can't wait A determined look on her face. She knows how to prove herself in the women's division. Let's get started. We're looking at an unflinching superstar ready to throw down. True words spoken. She's been itching to get this fight started for quite some time now, but it'll be interesting to see if she's bitten off more than she could chew. I believe she's coming to this match with the exact attitude needed for the challenge. And then you have the untouchable Carmella. Some have a misinformed opinion about Mella as a superstar who just runs her mouth too much. But anyone with that view is drenched with envy, knowing that every time the bell rings, Carmella is able to back up every truth she speaks. I don't know if I would completely agree with all of that, Corey, but I will not deny that Carmella has been, on occasion, known to put her money where her mouth is once that bell rings. Corey, I'm not telling you anything you don't know by saying that Carmella has a tendency to run her mouth. Do you think that could possibly be a detriment here? Now, Cole, I would never suggest that Carmella should talk less. But I will say Carmella's trash talking possibly allows her competition the perfect opportunity to counterattack. All her opponent needs is one opening to capitalize on, and she could negate all of Carmella's masterful mind games. This is not going to be good. Relentless. Ooh, stinging kick. Carmella fell right into that one. Good grief. That's a chop that'll wake you up. Nice. That'll either wake you up or knock you out. Oh, on the middle rope. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It's one of my favorite submissions. She will wisely return to the ring now. And now she's looking to go top rope. Taking flight. Oh, she misses the mark. atomic drop up to the top rope now oh man Ooh, well measured oh, oh, oh. Gosh. all measured up ah oh, drop kick to the spine Look at this. Boom. Nice. Oh, my God. What an elbow. DDT. Incredible impact. 
from Mella. We might see some Moon walk into the pay window soon. She's showing signs of slowing now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Smart, attacking the arm. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Byron, in the world of romance, this is what we call, oh, the French kiss. That should do it right there. She kicks out with force. Obviously still has some fight left. Carmella gets waylaid. That could be the spark she was looking for. Away. Think about all the pain she's in right now. Oh, nice snap there. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. An array of moves from Mella gains her the advantage. Carmella's just doing what she pleases. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Boring. Splash! For the win! Two! And that'll do it! It's finally over! Here is your winner, Carmella! And nothing to scoff at with that win, gentlemen. They got it done. A win like this always makes me happy. I kind of want to hop in there and celebrate with them.